Well, I'm delighted to welcome you to Clan TV because the mouse is no longer in our house. Disney on Ice are out and the Clan are in and training ahead of their first domestic home game of the season. And it's been a tough month of away trips with a mixture of results, including a fantastic result, 5-1 against Fife. And let's be honest, some fairly disastrous ones like 6-2 in Edinburgh. However, a tough fought OT victory against Coventry broke the spell of a five-game losing streak. And now the Clan face Scottish rivals, Fife Flyers, here in front of a sellout crowd. Is it time to show that sellout crowd what they're capable of. Let's hope so and let's go ringside. Well, no injuries to report for either side. It's a full selection for both teams as Dean Smith gets the puck dropped and the Brayhead clan are officially back home for their first domestic fixture. It's been a long time coming, hasn't it, Craig? It certainly has. Five weeks on the road is a lot for any team to have to endure. Brayhead clan have done it. Now they're back. That home crowd is behind them. One hell of a game in prospect. Clan looking very heavy on offensive power here now with Brooks on the line, but it comes back to the red line. Scott Pitt singles it back to Brooks. Brooks moving quickly. Levitt now. Levitt still has Brooks. Brooks at the point. Fires that one in. There's a bullet. It's there. Scotty, Scotty Pitt. Wonderful work from the clan. They make their impact felt. It was all about Brooks there at the back. Finding Pitt. Wonderful impact from Scott Pitt. 1 0. Scott Pitt, right place at the right time. At that back stick there, Brendan Brooks with the shot coming off David Brown. Pitt right there to tuck it away. The plan on ahead after only 59 seconds. Stewart and Matt Keith. Stewart does well. Muir picks it up at the blue line, sends it in. The redirect takes it wide. Patrick Cullen picks it up, tufts it back to the blue line. It comes in to the slot. Stefan Meyer will chase. Looks for the support. Finds it in the form of Chris Bruton. He finishes a nice check, takes a tumble though. Jamie French fires it in. It goes everywhere. High and into the face of Stefan Meyer, who always seems to get those pucks into the face. Been very unlucky so far this season. Chris Holt. Directs that one away. Support from you at the point. Flick 10, wrist point. Wrist shot from Jeff Lee. Big hit on the board. Surely the numbers were showing there. The home fans seem to think the numbers were showing. The officials think otherwise. The Flyers continue their assault. Jeff Lee, twists and turns, looks for the backhander, and it's there. It's a wonderful backhanded elevated shot from Jeff Lee, but the clan fans will be pointing to that hit on Thomas Nesbitt, where surely his numbers were showing. Wonderful finish, it has to be said, from Jeff Lee, 1-1. One, one. Interesting that call by the referee, he was standing right next to it. Maybe didn't get his best of you as he could have in that situation, but give credit to Fife there, taking the goal well. Well, two minutes of power play now for the clan as Delahaye oh, takes a seat in the Flyers penalty box. It comes to Brooks. Brooks, Clan looking very offensive on this power play now with Brooks at the blue line, just one D-man on the ice. That's Brooks who's at the point, the forward's at the point, and it does come to Brendan Brooks. BB fires it in, and it is like a BB gun. He fires it in for the Clan. Wonderful work. Clan find themselves two goals to the good. Brendan Brooks with a wonderful shot from the blue line. Clan two flyers, one three. What a great shot from Brendan Brooks, a great finish from the veteran, set up by Alex Levitt and saw him on the blue line. Brooks looked up and boom, smashed it past Brown. Plan 2-1 ahead. Well, it's Keg and Davis at the face off, a bouncing, bobbling puck that the clan eventually get clear. Brendan Brooks, BB, sends it into the corner. Tam Nesbitt, tenacious work from him. Looks for the wrapper and puts it into the slot. Great work on the D from the Flyers to snatch that opportunity away. But for a moment, it was there, but Ryan Dingle saved the Flyers there. Wonderful work from the number 19. The alternate captain doing his job there for the Flyers. Keg takes inside, teams up again with Dingle. Dingle playing really well, fires it right across the blue paint. Levitt manages to urge it on there to Haywood. Haywood checks back, has Levitt in support. Does well to hold on to it. Puck comes to Dingle again, looking really lively in the second period as Dingle, he has Lee, tries to find Lee. It's Scotty Pitt now. Pitt to Levitt. Levitt has Haywood in support, but instead comes back, it comes back to Pitt. Pitt, back door screaming open, and it's Alex Levitt, and you should not leave him alone, because Levitt is there at the back post. 3-1 clad, wonderful teamwork, Craig. Great teamwork, wonderful movement of the puck there. Absolutely terrific finish from Alex Levitt. 
playoffs and Alex Levitt with the goal. Delahaye. Britain takes a real big tumble as TJ Craig climbs into him. Dingle into Stefan Meyer. Keeps on his skates and Ryan Dingle chases that one down. Jeff Lee now. Been on really good form, Jeff Lee, during this game. A little push of the puck and a race in. And that's all the Flyers need as Jeff Lee teams up with TJ Craig. They look so dangerous when they're together. The Flyers pull one back, and that is quite a deadly partnership, isn't it, Craig? It certainly is. Great combination work there between Jeff Lee and TJ Craig. Lee taking it behind the goal and then shoveling it out for Craig with the finish. A good goal for Flyers to get. Just as Brayhead Clan went 3 1 up the Flyers. I've got it back to 3-2, it's game on again. Haywood just taps it in, it's the offensive zone. Held in centre, centre ice. Arson takes a hit from Fox, as the puck is picked up by Delahaye. Puck brought down as Britain tries to push through, he really has to battle to get through there. Meyer. Meyer and Jackman team up, nice hands from Meyer, feeds it through to Jackman! Wonderful stuff! And it was absolutely all the work there from Stefan Meyer and huge Jackman tucks it away! Wonderful work from Meyer, Meyer, Meyer! Straight into the big man, Rick Jackman! Club four, Flyers two! Two goals in two games for Rick Jackman, a good finish! Poking it through David Brown, the clan reopened that two goal advantage! Great credit from new dad Stefan Meyer as well! Setting up the Stanley Cup winner! And the Clan fans are on their feet and celebrating once again. Flyers looking dangerous. It comes back to Paquet, who fires it in. Home fans calling for the holding offence on Esders, but it's certainly not. We have a delayed penalty call. Chris Holt heads to the bench. Clan will get the extra skater on the ice. Harper chips and runs. Has to work really hard. Flyers D worked really well to keep that away. Where is Paquet and Harper? You mentioned it before there, Craig. They had a word. It doesn't look like we're going to get much out of this. The officials smothered that one early. You mentioned it there before, Craig. There was a word being had with Paquet. Just an Harper determined to get a fight in. Well, they're not going to let the officials break this one up. Paquet coming in. And Tristan Harper, please help me off. Gets the left here, Ken. Paquet's down. He can't see much. The officials are trying to wrestle him away. Paquet's still having it. Well, it was only really Harper that managed to get in the left jabs. The fans giving Tristan Harper, the Scott, the male model Scott, a round of applause. He wasn't worried about his features there. And Paquet, well, we saw that coming, Greg. We certainly did. I can't help thinking that could have been a little bit better had the officials not got themselves right involved in it. They just said they were quick to smother it. They could have just let it go. Both players were determined they were going to have a go at each other. We'll soon find out what the punishments are here. It's Jackman pushing through now, Clan on the power play. We're going to take advantage to stretch this game to a, a three-goal cushion. 4-2 as it stands, Clan on the power play. Comes back to Jackman. Jackman at the blue line. Takes Meyer. Meyer fires it in and it's there! I oh Meyer, I thought it was. It took the boot, it was off the post. Well, the light was on for a second, came off. Stefan Meyer, a lovely shot, rattling off the post. Clan still pushing forward. Now. Well, Clan really looking in the mood for a goal here now. One minute 20 remaining on the power play. One take pass across the French Frisk. Risk the pass in. Stefan Meyer holds off. I got a pass. Jackman with the rocket and the redirect from Keith. We've seen it before. Captain Keith knows where to stand. He knows where the danger zone is. Captain Keith with the tip in. Clan five. Fires four. Fires two. Fires two. Too excited, Greg. Too excited. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Yeah, good finish from Clan on the power play there. Rick Jackman again lining it up. Taking a shot back. Keith in the right place at the right time. They have to get past Brown. Ryan Dingle there organising his men. Four on three. As the Flyers try and get themselves something from this game. Rue. Pass out wide. To King, King looking for Rue again. Shapes up, finds him. Rue looking for that gap, looking for that lane. Cullen, back to Rue, Rue, it's King, King, one time to Cullen. Fires aiming for the top corner, but it's just a little too high. Holt saw that one, still 46 seconds, it's fired in, goes wide. 
Well, still 30 odd seconds left of this four on three as it comes to Cade. Flyers desperate trying to get themselves back into this game. It's quite a margin for them to get, but he's left alone there. Dingle was left all alone and managed to put a lovely little backhanded high pass. Little shot nestled past Chris Hall. Flyers maybe give themselves a glimmer of hope here. Yeah, they certainly did. Good work between Patrick Cullen and Ryan Dingle. Dingle with his back to goal, somehow managed to flick it past Chris Holt and into the net. Flyers pull it back to 5-3. A lot of their fans have actually left. They left early thinking the game was finished well. At 5-3, there's still a power play opportunity for them. It could change. The five Flyers' goal is empty. Five on four. With just a few moments left, the Flyers trying to get themselves back into this one. They need one here. Davis takes a sore one, shields it for the clan. Great work from Ben Davis there. His bench appreciate that one. The Flyers return to full strength. Six men on the ice against the four of Brayhead clan. TJ Keg, Deacon and Divin. Lee teaming up with him as well. Their top scoring line all out here now. Keg, slap shot, one timer, takes a redirect. One minute, 47 remaining. 40 seconds left on the Keith penalty before he can join the clan. Six on four. Five Flyers know they need this. They'll need a goal right now if they're gonna get anything from this game. Here's the chance. It's flanked, it looks like it's there. Or was the goal off the moorings? It looks like it was off, but it looks like it's been given. Well, it looked like to me that that goal was off the net. Chris Holt remonstrating with Dean Smith, but it looks like it's been given. Well, incredible scenes here at the end of this game. Total drama, Chris Holt. And the clan, not happy about that one, but the Flyers are starting to pull off the impossible. What a comeback. It's not been given. Chopped off, and here we see the Flyers now having a word with Dean Smith. They're not happy about that. It did look to me like the goal was off before the puck crossed the line. But you can understand how the Flyers feel about that one. Well, there we go. As we said there, Craig, we thought the goal had come off the moors before the puck crossed, but if you're a flyer, you've got to be devastated with that because it was a really well-worked effort. Battle's going on here now in the corner. It's Jamie Fritz who flies in. It was Jackman originally who took a heavy hit as well in the corner. And Fritch came to the rescue for it. Well, you can no wonder you can feel the tensions here now flying at the end. Player still battling over in the corner. I didn't see who the Flyers player is. I saw the hit on Jackman and Jimmy Fritz rushing over and the official straight after to get on top of it. I wonder if it could be Lee. Seems to be the only man missing at the moment. Jamie Fritz with his helmet off there, as you can see. I think it might be Lee. Well, you can see the tension's just boiling over here. I think that's frustration kicking in for yeah, five. Yeah, it is Lee. Jeff Lee, like I said, he's had a great game for the Flyers. But Jackman having a word with him there. This is what the clan fans wanted to see, a bit more grip from their men in purple. They're certainly seeing that tonight, and Lee is being ejected. From the game, it looks like. Well, 12 seconds remaining. It was been an exhilarating game as Lee is. There's battles for that puck. Haynes gets it clear, Cullen. Tries to get it past Sullivan. Sullivan feeds it back into McKenzie. McKenzie fires into the center. Bouncing puck can go anywhere. McKeever takes a swipe at it. And that is that with McKeever's last Never shot at David Brown, the clan. But a much needed home win against the five Flyers. Five, three to the clan. And they've shown that grit and determination that the clan fans wanted to see. Plenty of needle, as you say, Craig. Plenty of shots on goal, and most importantly, plenty of goals. Indeed, that's what the Ryan Finnerty and the team are looking for tonight. After that kind of barren run on the road in recent weeks. Well, they certainly got their group back tonight. Five goals. They couldn't get a six there at the end. The Brayhead clan are back. What a way to start their home regular season run. 5-3 Challenge Cup win over five flyers. They'll be looking for the same tomorrow night. And then these stars come here. So Todd, a tough result for you here tonight, but like a really great battling performance and you nearly sneaked back in there at the end. Yeah, you better believe it. And we knew coming in here for home opener, um, very difficult building to come into. Um, I thought we were unfortunate after one to be down to one. I thought we came out with a lot of energy, uh, really stuck to the game plan well. Um, 
But you know what? Uh, Ryan has a great, great team here. You guys uh, are going to have a lot of success. Um, and if we want any uh, any hopes of having any success in league, we're going to have to find a way to get points out of this building. It wasn't uh, wasn't our tonight, but that late goal goal called off at 5-4. We thought, ah, we'll throw our uh, hat in the ring here and uh, see what we can get from it. But uh, kind of put us back on our heels when it was called off. But uh, that's hockey, right? Obviously, that's one game now you've had in Fife against Springhead Clan, one game here. Did the, the players from last year let you know that there was quite a bit of needle before in this kind of fixture? And yeah. do you feel like it's remained? Yeah, I'm just starting to get used to it now. I mean, uh, I didn't even know Brayhead was in Glasgow, so it's, uh, <laughs> I'm all uh, new, new to the scene over here, but uh, starting to figure it out. And, uh, yeah, it's good hockey. Uh, surprisingly, uh, when I came over, I, I didn't think it would be this good, and it's a great league, and uh, it's coming a long way, 13 imports, so... Uh, Give credit to the league too. It's uh, it's definitely a lot better than I thought it was. You're teaming up really well as well with, with Jeff Lee at the moment. That seems like a really good partnership. Is that something you're happy with seeing develop? Yeah, I mean, we're just trying to find it right now. I mean, uh, bouncing through lines, trying to find the right chemistry. And uh, right now it's uh, me, Dingle, and uh, Lee, and seem to be doing all right. But uh, it'd be nice to get a few more uh, points on the board. But um, we'll see. It was a great performance from you tonight as well. Did you enjoy the atmosphere coming here? Was it something you were expecting as well? Yeah, it's a great, great, uh, great building to play in. Uh, good atmosphere, lots of good fans. So uh, definitely, definitely helps when uh, when you're playing in front of some people. So uh, credit to their fans, good fans. So uh, keep it going. Well, thank you very much, and good luck in Cardiff tomorrow. Maybe do us a favor. Yeah. Cheers, pal. So Ryan, a really big win tonight. Lots of goals. That was obviously what you were after. Yeah. Uh, win first and foremost is, is kind of what was in the game plan, but uh, yeah, it was no secret we've been struggling to score goals. Our power play, we went three for four tonight. You know, we made some significant changes this week um, to the units, to, to all three of the lines, and, and I thought they uh, I thought they looked pretty dangerous. Yeah, it was really interesting. You mentioned those line changes. Can you take us through? Were you particularly happy with any of them? Obviously, Brooks in particular with uh, Ben Davis working there. There was a very fast line that. Yeah, we put some speed on that one. Um, you know, anybody you put with Benny, you know, instantly you're gonna you're gonna have a good line. He works so hard, you're gonna have success. And 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 Benny and Brooks, he skates so well. And you know, Nezzy complements that line uh, really well. Um, I thought they I thought they looked good. I thought um, I thought Pitter and, and Levy created a lot. You know, a lot of offense. He scored a nice goal there. Uh, tic-tac-toe they had a couple one with Haywood back door and just kind of got picked off the last second and they um, they created they, they gave us a bit of a different look a bit of a different line here more um, a lot more creative in the, in the offensive zone here not not quite the same as what what uh, Benny and Brooksy and uh, bring but then you know it, it's, it gives a gives us a couple different looks and then obviously the Keith Meyer uh, Bruton line you know um, I thought they had a, a strong game today and I think that that line will continue to get better and better uh, as the season goes on scoring side was obviously excellent as well but there were some penalties at the end there that allowed Fife just to start creeping back in is that something you feel still needs to be looked at or is it just part and parcel of what was quite a feisty game in the end yeah I thought uh, you know it was tough to anytime you go five on three you know I thought I thought we did enough maybe to, to generate a few more uh, you know power play chances I thought you know but you know like I said the, the Dino Price saw it a bit differently but yeah we you know we let him back in with, with some with some penalties and then obviously they they evened it up at the end but you know we got to learn our lesson that we can't we can't kill all night and can't be on the kill and and teams power plays and you give anybody a five on three in this league especially a team like Fife they're they're going to make you pay and we got a bit lucky with the, the wave off there but you know we got to learn from that and move on. It still continues to be an interesting fixture, doesn't it? It was always one that the fans looked for, the Flyers and Clan games. But even without Nickerson there, without Frank and Fitzgerald, there was still plenty of needle. And there's some excellent players on that five team, TJ Keg and, and Lee. So you're still happy that that's quite a, an interesting fixture? Yeah, no, I mean, I think the whole league's kind of going, you know, a bit that way where it's, these guys are fast. You, you see the speed of Fife and, and they, they play gritty, they finish checks, you know, it's a, you know, just because that, that, those two or three fights aren't there a year, you know, it doesn't mean that it's not going to be a physical encounter and an intense, it's, it's just maybe a bit of a different style and, and that's the way kind of hockey's going, but it, uh, I think they got a great team, you know, I think Todd's put together a really good team, they're dangerous on the power play, they're dangerous. Um, in the offensive zone, they can create turnovers just out of with their speed and, and um, they're physical, you know.
and we saw that tonight. So I think we need, probably need to do a better job matching them physically. You know, I thought uh, I thought we uh, we didn't play the body. You know, we weren't on the body near as much as, as they were. They were making our D pay. Uh, I thought uh, we could have done a better job at our, our F1 on the attack, finishing hits, and you know something that we're addressing and talking about here. But overall, it was uh, it was a good performance and uh, you know an inspired performance. And I, I saw a lot of a lot of good things out of uh, all three lines and, and our D. And of course, great to be back back at home. And not only that, you're back here tomorrow night against the Dundee Stars. Yeah, it's just just a complete different feeling being back in front of our fans and. You know, and, and I think the guys, you know, guys before the game were, were talking about how, how excited they are to play and how, how much different it is, you know, being on the road for five weeks and finally at home. And, and like I said, it's a, it's a fantastic building to play in front of, and especially when the, the crowd's loud and, and they were fantastic tonight. So it's, uh, it's a good start. You know, we got a long ways to go, but we're definitely uh, climbing the ladder. That's a great result. Thank you very much, Ryan. Thank you. Cheers there.